What is up guys, it's Modern Warfare here and welcome back to another episode of JTAG Tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to transfer files from your computer to your Xbox and from your Xbox to your computer in another way. Again, I've showed you guys how to do this through FTP, uh, USB and through um, Xbox 360 Neighborhood, but this is just another cool way to transfer files uh, to and from your Xbox 360. So in this way, and the way that this is different to any other method we've done, is that this time what we're doing is we're going to be mapping a network drive. Now I've done a video on mapping network drives before and creating a network drive on like your main computer so that it can be accessed just like a hard drive from all the other computers on your network. And I'll link that video in the description, which I recommend watching if you're not familiar with network drives because it's really, really useful. And um, yeah, you can also do it on your Xbox from within Freestyle Dash. Now, as far as I'm aware, the functionality is not built into Aurora yet. So if you want to do this, you are going to have to use Freestyle Dash right now. But I'm sure they'll add they'll add it in at some point into Aurora. So um, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is head into the settings on Freestyle Dash. And then you want to head into general settings. And then you want in general settings to scroll down and enable SMB and file manager and enable Samba server. And then you can change the host name to whatever you want. As you can see, it's currently on Xbox 360. I'm going to change this to JTAG just because it's, you know, familiar. JTAG is what, uh, what neighborhood uses. So we'll just call it JTAG. And you can just name it whatever you want. And then once you've done that, all you want to do it's just restart Freestyle Dash, so go back to Dashboard and go back on Freestyle Dash. I've got Freestyle Dash added into my homebrew section, so I'll just launch it from in here. Okay, and now it should be enabled. So also you might want to note down the IP address in the bottom left-hand corner on Freestyle Dash. You can see mine ends in 137.223. You may not need to note down your IP address, but just make sure your Xbox is connected to your local network. And now we can go onto the computer and I can show you guys what to do from there. Okay, so now that we're onto the computer, what you want to do is head to start and then go to computer. And from here we can map the network drive. Now, normally you shouldn't need any sharing options enabled um, on your computer because the computer is not hosting the share, the console is hosting the share. So we should just be able to um, map network drive which is right up here it's somewhere different in Windows 10 so I'll probably put an image of where where map network drive is on Windows 10 it's not just visible like this you have to go into some tabs or something but then you just want to select a drive letter to assign the drive to and then in here you want to do backslash backslash and then the host name which I call JTAG it was defaultly on Xbox 360 I changed it to JTAG so I'm going to do backslash backslash JTAG and then a drive, um, one of the drives on the console, which for me, let's say HDD1 is the main hard drive. So if I do that, backslash HDD1 and then click finish, you can see it opens up everything that's on my, on my console right here. I've got Dash Launch, um, got uh, my games, Modern Warfare 3 is in here. And now I can access it from the computer and it shows right here just as if it was a hard drive on the computer, whereas it's actually, um, you know, a hard drive on the Xbox, but I'm accessing it on the computer right here. So say, for example, if I want to copy a file from my console to my computer, um, then I can easily just do that. I can just drag and drop it to my computer and now it's on my computer and I can just edit it and drag it back on to um, the network drive and you don't even need to do that if you're just editing a file if you're editing a file you can just open it straight from um, the console from this network drive so if I want to edit my launch.ini file I can just open it even though I haven't transferred it to my computer technically it's still on the Xbox then I can just say add a plugin let's say I want to just quickly add jrpc then I can uh, whoops backslash would be useful so if I want to just add JRPC then I can just save it and that's it saved on the console I didn't have to transfer it to my computer first I can just do that so it's a lot better than say neighborhood because on neighborhood I'd have to drag it to my desktop and then edit the file and then drag it back on whereas with this I can just edit it straight from the actual drive itself without having to transfer files back and forth so it's very useful it's kind of a shame that you need to be on Freestyle Dash in order for it to work, but 
you know, it's still very, very useful. And um, I prefer it over FTP now. I used to use FileZilla a lot. Now I use this. So another thing, I will include this little um, this little batch file. It's very basic. It's just got a basic little batch file here that creates the drives for you. You just double click it and it creates them for HDD1, HDDX and USB0, which is my external hard drive and or whatever USB device you have plugged into your console, basically. However, um, if you are going to use this little batch um, file, then bear in mind it's preset to use uh, drive letters X, Y and Z. So if you already have, say, X, Y or Z or one, one of those drive letters assigned to another drive or another network drive on your computer, then it won't work. So you'll just, you might as well just do it manually from within here. But that's it. Very, very useful. So yeah, just a quick little guide on that. So there's another cool way that you can, uh, another cool way to transfer files back and forth from your computer to your console and edit them on your computer. So yeah, if you like this video or you find the information useful, go ahead and leave it a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Shuffling